Thursday, it's time for Let's Learn Lesson. But it isn't Thursday, it's Friday today. So, before I introduce my very special Let's Learn friend, what do we have to do? Sing the Let's Learn song, isn't it? Okay, so are you ready for Let's Learn song? Let's sing it together, yeah? Let you land, let you land. There could be no better land for meeting a duck, a man with a hat, an orange or two, and a clever old cat. So let's go to let you land. Let you land, let you land. Water, water, spatter land. Meet slithering sun, a green who can kick, a quarrelsome queen. Oh, make noisy Nick. So let's go to Letter Land. Let's go to Letter Land today. Good job. Okay, now we are in the magical world of Letter Land. But before we meet our special friend, Miss Villa is going to give you three clues to guess who the person is. Okay? First clue is that he wears a crown. Second clue is that he loves to kick and because of that, his favourite sport is soccer. Thirdly, he loves to play with a kite. Can you guess who that is? That's right, Kicking King. Now if you can see, Kicking King has a crown, beautiful red coat and his kicking shoes because he loves to play soccer. Now, where's our magic finger? Can we try to chase Kinking with our magic finger, okay? So one line down and then a line up and another line down. Easy, isn't it? Let's try it one more time. One line down, a line up and another line down. Good job! Now Kicking King makes a sound when he kicks the ball, okay? And he has a song as well. So shall we sing the song together? Now that we've sang the song, are you ready to listen to Kicking King's story? So, let's go! Kicking King and his Socks Kicking King lives with Quarrelsome Queen in the Letterland Castle. He's one of the kindest men you will ever meet. He has to be to keep the peace, living with such a quarrelsome queen. Kicking King likes nothing better than kicking a football about. That's why he's called Kicking King. When he goes into words, he makes a k sound. Can you hear it in words like key, kettle and kitchen? It was the final game of the Letterland Football Championships and Kicking King and his team were keen to win the cup. Kicking King was in the kitchen packing his football kit. His top, shorts, pads and boots were all in his kit bag. But where were his socks? Have you seen my socks? He shouted up to the Queen who was quietly sewing her quilt. There are some socks with pink spots on them by the kettle, she shouted back. Take them! But I have a lucky kicking sock. I need my red and yellow socks, he panicked. Nonsense, quarrelled the Queen. There's no such thing as lucky sock. Socks cannot do tricks or win games. Just take the pink socks. The clock was ticking and Kicking King had to set off. 
so he had to go to the mat without his lucky kicking sock. The Letterland team came out onto the pitch. Monkey the mascot was at the front and the team followed on behind. Clever Cat was the captain. Kicking King was a striker with Sammy Snake. Munching Mike was in the middle. Dippy Duck was in defence and Golden Girl was always a great goalkeeper. The match started and the crowd roared. Kicking King has such a strong kicking leg that he is always a top scorer. But today he felt weak. His leg was not sticking out strongly and by half time he hadn't scored a single goal. What was worse was that the other team had scored. The Letterlanders sat down while they had their half-time snack. Talking Tess told the team to stick together and keep trying. Kicking King felt sad. Over the noise of the crowd, he heard a voice he knew very well. Let me through quickly, the voice demanded. Quarrelsome Queen had come onto the pitch holding a small packet. She handed it to the king. I found these in the kitten's basket, she said. Kicking King looked inside. It was his lucky sock. How kind, he said, giving her a big kiss. Now put on that sock and kick like you've never kicked before, she said. The team ran back out to play the second half of the match. Kicking King felt strong. His leg was sticking out straight. He kicked the ball hard and before long, goal! The crowd cheered. He skidded but picked himself up again. Dippy Duck was defending well, then Clever Cat got a corner kick. She carefully kicked the ball to the king and smack! He kicked it into the back of the net. The final whistle blew and Letterland had won the match. Sammy Snake skipped. Oscar jumped on top of the podium. Clever Cat lifted the cup and Kicking King blew a kiss to his lucky kicking sock. Okay, Roxas, hope you enjoyed the Letterland story. So did you find out that Kicking King actually loves to play soccer? And he has to wear his lucky socks, right? If not, he can't score a goal. So for today's activity, we're going to be doing something similar. Now, you see around me, I have actually put up some recyclable boxes and some blocks here, okay? Because we are going to be doing a kicking activity through this obstacle course, okay? So at home, you can use your own recyclable materials like boxes or even styrofoam cups and things like that. And then you need a ball as well because you've got to dribble the ball all the way through the obstacle course and come back to the starting point. So Miss Villa is going to try it out, okay? And this is the chair. This chair here is going to be my starting point. So I have to dribble the ball through the block, through the cardboard boxes and back to my green chair. Almost fell. So, Roxanne, I hope you get to try out this obstacle course at 